Oh, hi, hey there, guys. How how's it going? It's Epic uh, Minecraft Let's Player. Welcome to Minecraft Let's Play episode three hundred. And this episode, we're we're gonna be digging and and building some some shit. No, but seriously, welcome back to another video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be talking about a story. Um, probably one of my more embarrassing stories from uh, high school. Uh, I felt like a complete dick after I did this. I just want to let you guys know that before I even tell it. Um, I was just really pissed off, and, you know, one thing led to another. When you're pissed off, you kind of just say things you don't mean half the time. So, nah, that's kind of what happened. But this story takes place in uh, winter time. So, there's a lot of snow where I come from. So, just, just, just remember that. Remember that during the story. Anyway, this story takes place uh, after school. So, I had gym during that day. And, um, since it was cold, I had boots on, you know, I had jeans and long pants or whatever. So I got carried around a bag that had my gym shorts and gym shoes in it. So, as I was leaving the school, I had just finished math class and I was walking out. I had to walk home because my parents fucking hate me. So as I was leaving, I was like halfway down the block and I realized that I had forgotten my gym bag. So, I was already pissed off right there because I had to turn around, you know, go all the way back into the school and fucking find my gym bag. So, I had to walk back to the school in the snow. So, as you can tell, I wasn't already happy. And to be honest, guys, I, I fucking hate school. So, having to walk back just pissed me off even more. So, because usually I'm, I'm, like, out of the school. I'm fucking 0 to 100 real fucking quick. I'm always the first one out as soon as, you know, the bell rings. I just get my ass out of there as quick as possible because I hate dealing with everyone and everything. So I walk through some doors that led from the outside into the cafeteria, and we have this giant-ass cafeteria in my school. And as I was walking in, there's this really cute girl, because the doors were locked, so this really cute girl let me in. And, you know, she was really cute, and I, I didn't want to look like a retard, so I walked in, and guess who acted like a fucking retard? It just think, think for a second. Close your eyes and think about something. Think about somebody falling... Tripping and falling over a, a banana, it, comedically. That's how I fell. Because there is snow in the crevices of my boots, I fucking slipped and fell and just landed on my ass. It hurt so much and pissed me off so much that I, I just, I, I was about to fucking kill myself. Like, you know those cartoons when they actually, like, slip in the banana peel? That's how I fell. I, 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 my legs both were just way up in the air and I, I just landed on my ass and it really pissed me off. Now this poor girl who actually witnessed me fall on my ass made the mistake of trying to help me out again. Not only did she not laugh, she was actually generally concerned. She asked if I was alright and then held out her hand for me to help me up. And, you know, you would have thought that I, I grabbed it and, you know, helped her up and said thank you. But my dumb ass, since I was already pissed off, I, I looked her in the eyes, smacked her hand away, and said, fuck you. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. This has actually happened. I'm looking back at it. Like, even then, I felt like a complete dick as I was walking away. Because, like, she was just trying to help me out. And I just fucking told her, fuck off. I said, fuck you. I felt like such an asshole. But, you know, I said it. So, there's really nothing else. So, I ended up going to my math room, where which is the last class that I had. And I, I thought I left the bag there. Long story short, I didn't. Bet you couldn't think of that, huh? So as I was retracing my steps through every fucking classroom that I had been in that day, trying to look for this <laughs> goddamn bag, I couldn't find it, and then I, honestly I was about to give up and just go home, but you know, I had some pair of nice shoes, so how'd how you get your nice shoes, man? Kicks always come fresh, right? I had eventually found my bag, and I, I bet you couldn't guess where it was. Just, just think. Say, say it out loud, I'll hear you. I promise. Guess guess where it was. In the fucking gym locker room. Now before you say anything, this is the first time I used the lockers in my gym class actually. And before they give you the lockers, mine was actually open. So they had given me the combo, but I threw the paper out. But I forgot the combo. So I, I was trying to remember the numbers. I was sitting there for about 10 minutes trying to remember the numbers. I was I was cursing. I was flipping out. Like It was just me in the locker rooms. I was just flipping out. I was screaming, Fuck this fucking school. Fuck the lockers. Fuck everyone. Fuck everything. I fucking hate my life. And I was just sitting there generally pissed off because I, you know things were just not going my way. I was 
And then I got really pissed off and just punched the logger as hard as I could because, you know, that would definitely open it, right? So after about 10 minutes of me fighting with this logger, a gym teacher actually walked up to me and asked if I needed help, you know. He probably thought there was a, you know, a fight going on or something to two students having added at each other. But no, it was just fucking some retarded kid getting pissed off at a locker and hitting it. I hate my life. Anyway, he asked if I needed help and I looked him dead in the eyes. I said, no, I got it. But he, he wasn't convinced. <laughs> he wasn't convinced that I had it. So he, he stepped aside and uh, he said, is this your locker? I said, yes, this is my locker. And he went into the, the teacher's room and got the combo. Eventually, he opened it. And, um, you know, to add insult to injury, the numbers that I was adding into the combo were, I was like one off. I was so pissed. But I thanked him and then I started walking out. And as I was leaving the school, I noticed that after punching the locker like an idiot, I, my hand was bleeding because, you know, the little things in the locker. I fucking cut my hand on it. I don't know how. So I finally started walking out of the school, and as I had walked through the doors, there's like this little hill that you can walk down to get on the sidewalk. I slipped down the hill. No, that wasn't a joke. I slipped down the hill. I, I hit my head. I, I fucking commit suicide. But after that, I, I just walked home, went to bed, because there's honestly no point in me doing anything that day, because I, I probably fucked up some way, shape, or form. So, honestly, I just gave up at that point. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't trust bitches, don't trust lockers, and certainly don't trust gym teachers. Because, especially the gym teachers that are actually overweight, don't trust them. They're fucking lying to you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like to end my suffering.